One. Five minutes. Uh, my name is Nathan Freitas. Uh, I've worked in mobile phone um, technology. Generally with, generally with a focus on how you can use a mobile phone for more than calling or texting or So one of my interests is in security and cryptography, using that to empower and protect communications rather than just um, the other aspect of work that I've been doing for the last few years is around open government and transparency of government. And this includes voting, legislative process, um, access to information for people that do not have computers or cannot travel to a government office. And so all of these things together are necessary to move democratic process or voting process or a, you know, citizen involvement in government forward. You need um, cryptography in order to provide verification and privacy controls and anonymity um, to citizens who want to either you know, find information uh, with, uh, and express their opinion without, say, persecution. Um, so, so having ability to have privacy controls and anonymity is important. From the voting side, you need verification um, that is quite sophisticated. And, and you see some technologies there that are emerge, emerging for verifying transi transactions such as Bitcoin, for example. Um, and then the, in, beyond just voting, the entire participation in the political process uh, needs to be able to happen from very low cost, portable, you know, uh, battery powered devices. Um, as an example, in the United States, I've done in the past work with labor unions who wanted to be able to communicate with their members during the workday. And so these are workers in industrial settings or service jobs who are not at a computer during the workday. And so having the ability to communicate and organize and reach their members through simple phones is, is important. While also realizing that you are sort of um, leaking private information as well if you're using a typical kind of phone system run by a government. So the primary project I have now is entitled The Guardian Project. And so we're working on secure mobile technologies, primarily for smartphones, um, low-cost smartphones, or low-cost tablet devices. This is a, a $50 tablet from Thailand uh, that's quite capable of doing all, all sorts of features at a very low cost, as an example. And so we're working generally to build open source, you know, audited, trustable uh, code on which to build systems for 
journalists, activists, human rights defenders, and, and ideally more um, you know, cryptographically sound government <laughs> so that um, when you place a vote, for example, it's not just law, you know, go, just go into the machine without verification. And that your verification is not just an email, but that you can actually have sort of proven mathematical verification uh, and truth behind mobile um, transactions. And so to wrap up, uh, uh, we have a project called Informacam that was funded by the Knight News Foundation to help um, anyone capture photos and video in a way that can be easily verified as you know truthful or having not been manipulated or or otherwise distorted. And so, an extension of of that technology has many applications, and we are already using it with uh, farm workers, sort of day laborers as we call them in the United States, with very cheap cell phones to be able to register that they worked in the field on a certain day in order to defend their wages. So th the idea that a smartphone or a mobile can be used as proof is important, and we hope that we can assist in any uh, you know, voting or other democratic process type work uh, in the future. Thank you, that's all for now. Just a second, I ask a question. No sé si hacerle pregunta a él o es complicado esta interfaz y y plegamos y seguimos el debate entre nosotros. ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta sin pero derivar a las preguntas que luego haremos a las otras dos personas estrictamente para él o no? Okay, uh, Nathan, we, uh, because we are in the middle of debate, so we will uh, introduce your information and uh, also okay. link your project and use it for the debate. And we, keep to, we hope to keep in touch. And thanks a lot for, okay. uh, for your, the, all the information. Thanks a lot. Goodbye. I hope I can come in person next time. Thank okay. You. We hope also so. Ciao. Ciao. So now, David and Diego, if you want to subir otra vez, hacemos una ronda de preguntas. ¿Hay preguntas? Bueno, yo tengo un mogollón, así que vale, vale. A ver, vamos a aplicar.